Matt Vaughn tests evaluate the compatibility of the flooring system to a variety of substrates and may also indicate the presence of moisture issues. It's the installer's responsibility to determine if the substrate being covered is suitable and decide how many Matt Bond tests to perform. All system components must be tested during the Matt Bond test. Make sure the areas and system components specified for the project are properly conditioned for 48 hours before and during the testing period. Also ensure the tests are conducted only at a time when substrate and job site conditions comply with the requirements outlined in the NORA installation instructions and ASTM F710. The test procedure depends upon the type of adhesive specified. For NORA AC100, ACMR95, EDMR90, ED120, PUMR95, and PU102 wet set adhesives, install the bond test material using the specified trowel in accordance with the NORA installation instructions. Place the tests at appropriate locations near walls or in light traffic areas. Do not uplift to check for adhesive transfer after flooring placement. NORA recommends that each test plot should be two foot by two foot. Use duct tape or similar to seal the edges of the flooring test sample to the substrate on all sides and roll with a 100-pound roller. Protect the flooring from foot traffic for 12 hours and rolling traffic for 72 hours. To evaluate the adhesives, cut a 2-inch wide strip from the center of the test sample and then slowly peel up from one end. The bond test is successful that the flooring requires a great deal of effort to pull up, providing you find no sign of moisture. You will see approximately the same amount of adhesive on both the substrate and the back of the flooring. For NORA AC100, ACMR95, EDMR90, and ED120, adhesive that is wet or soft means the substrate is either still too wet or the surface of the concrete is non-absorptive. If the majority of the adhesive is on the material backing, there was either insufficient mechanical preparation, a contaminant on the substrate, or the substrate has too much moisture. If the majority of the adhesive remains on the substrate, the adhesive became too dry before placement, or there was insufficient rolling. If the failure occurs within other components of the flooring system, there may be a problem with the preparation or application method. For NORA PU-102 and PU-MR95, the bond will break between the adhesive and the back of the flooring. This failed bond test shows substrate failure and must be corrected before beginning the flooring installation. The matte bond test is different for NORA DryFix 750, ED, and MR tape, which are not expected to have the equivalent peel strength of the wet adhesives. These bond tests must be placed in areas with traffic the main goal is to ensure dry fix tape is compatible with the substrate. The bond test is successful if dry fix tape is still bonded to the back of the flooring, with a small amount of adhesive residue transferred to the substrate. If the prepared substrate fails easily for any NORA adhesive, evaluate and correct the preparation protocol and products before repeating the matte bond test. You can also contact your NORA sales representative for adhesive recommendations.